pH is important. It means potential hydrogen, but you don't even need to know that. And any of you who took chemistry in college or high school know about pH. And if anybody was a Redken follower, they know about pH. Because Redken taught us pH, OK? Now, here's the thing you have to understand about pH. Neutral pH is 7. That's neutral. 14 is the highest pH. And 1 is the lowest. Now, here's the interesting thing. The higher the alkalinity, the more the hair melts. The lower the alkalinity, way too low, the hair gets dry. Right? So it is best to stay here to be safe. Right? Good shampoos and conditioners are like a 5.5, the ones we sell. How do you know the pH is something? A pH has to be wet. You can't measure the pH on something dry. Go to the pet store and try not to buy a pet, but they're very cute. And I go, when I go by the puppies, I'm like this. OK, and get to the fish department, which doesn't interest me that much. They have litmus paper that you use to clean the fish tank that tells you the pH of the Aha! Take those to the salon. Here's the interesting thing, guys. If you relax hair, perm hair, you've got to go alkaline. You've got to melt that hair to go around that rod or to straighten. That's why you have to neutralize it. And neutralizing it and doing it correctly are so important. Aha, let me show you this. At like 12, which is very high, is ammonium theoglycolate, perm solution, right? On the slide, I wish I had the, the most, I think, um, so, okay, I'll, I'll get to that later because I want to show the slide. Okay, guys, human blood and seawater are about a little over six. And the sebum inside our follicles is also right there. So to keep the follicles strong, to keep the hair strong, you want to stay really here and here. OK, years ago, remember the, the liquid protein that a certain company sold and told you it strengthened the hair? Well, it made it strong, but it made it super dry, right? So then they invented a cream that you had to put on after the liquid to, so that it would stop being so dry and come more up here and be able to comb the damn hair. Then they got smart and put it in one pack that starts with the letter C and ends with the letter S. OK, so too much alkaline melts. Too much acid dries. OK, why is it when you bleach hair, you must close that cuticle? In fact, when you use permanent dye, look at this, guys, per in order to lift, a permanent dye has to be a minimum of 9.3 on the pH scale, as you, this little paper. I, I give these out at all my classes. OK? High lift color has a pH of 9.8. If a permanent dye is not alkaline, it has no ability to lift the hair. So if somebody tells you they have a new color that's non-ammonia, you have to know that if it has lifting power, it is alkaline. It has to be. By the way, a, you know, a perm is up here and a relaxer. So they have to be neutralized. And nobody concentrates enough on the, relax, on the, on the neutralization. If you are poor and you, can't, you don't know if something's really out, the acidity has come back down, fill an applicator bottle with like seven ounces of water and one ounce of white vinegar and make an acid rinse. Pour it over the head, just squeeze it out of the bottle. It'll bring that pH down like that. The way you can, if you bleach a head of hair and you wash it and rinse it and you put that litmus paper there, it's still going to be alkaline. You, you've got to neutralize it. Okay, does this help you?
There are companies that say they have no ammonia and they, ha they have fine products. I don't use them, but they have either monoethanol amine or amino paraphenol. So what happens, amino methylphenol, those are alkalizers. I have had the opportunity since I've been 24 years old to work with some of the best hair color chemists in the world. Some are from India, some are from uh, Japan, some are from Brooklyn, some are whatever. And here's what they tell me. The three alkalizers are ammonia, MEA, or AMP. Every chemist tells me the best most consistent, reliable alkalizer is ammonia, which is a gas. The MEA and the AMP are liquids. When you put the ammonia in the hair, it's about 1.5% ammonia to get lift. With these liquids, it's 15% or more alkalinity. So, you do what you want to do. In a demicolor, my friend, the pH is about at an 8. And in my liquid demis, they're right here at 7. And a little below when you mix them with developers. The closer we... Look, I'm not saying not to bleach hair. I love it. I'm not saying not to... Uh, well, what can I say here? I can't, well, too much protein with no, no moisture doesn't make any sense. That's what I can say here. You have to be aware of pH, even just in your own head. You don't want to melt the hair. And if you do melt the hair, you're going to, if you're bleaching hair, you're going to melt it. If you relax or perm the hair, you're going to melt it. You must neutralize it correctly and thoroughly and make sure that people don't think, okay, she's done, I'll just neutralize it. That's more important, really, than the whole other thing.